Carol Danvers, prodigal child of the Milky Way. Nick Fury. My favorite one-eyed man of intrigue. How goes it out there? Uh, you know, cold, no air, space. Captain Marvel. The Annihilator. You took everything from me. And now I'm returning the favor. our light-based powers, so we switch places whenever we use them. Strong theory. You can absorb light. I can see it. And Kamala. Who's Kamala? Hi. She can turn light into physical matter, which I have never heard of. I could totally show you. No! targeting every planet we call home. I would never choose to bring anybody into this. You are not the only thing standing between this and the universe. Oh my god, we're a team. Higher. Further. Faster. Can you? I got it. Hey, welcome to Spots World. Marvel dropped the trailer in the middle of the night, so we will break it all down. There is a bunch of new footage and bunch Easter eggs, and if you are brand new to this channel, be sure to get subscribed to get all videos. Brie Larson is reprising her role as Carol Danvers, a.k.a. Captain Marvel in The Marvels. And she will be joined by Iman Vellani as Kamala Khan, a.k.a. Miss Marvel, and Monica Rambeau, Tayona Paris's former sword agent and saber astronaut who gained powers during WandaVision. Monica and Danvers have met, although Monica was a child in Captain Marvel. Monica's mother, Maria, portrayed by Lashana Lynch in Captain Marvel, was Danvers' best friend, in addition to being the Captain Marvel of Earth 838 in Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. Samuel L. Jackson will reprise his role of Nick Fury in the Marvels following his appearance in Secret Invasion on Disney+. Zaw Ashton is set to portray the Marvels' villain, and while her identity is still undisclosed, the trailer suggests she is a Kree accuser, as she carries the same hammer weapon that Ronan used during Guardians of the Galaxy. Park Seo Joon of Parasite fame will be involved too, again in an undisclosed role, though his character can be seen in the film's trailer. From the Miss Marvel cast come Kamala Khan's mother, father, and brother, Zenobia Shroff, Mohan Kapoor, and Sagar Sheikh, respectively. The official synopsis for the Marvels suggests that Danvers's actions in Captain Marvel have left her shouldering the burden of a destabilized universe. This lends itself perfectly to the MCU's multiverse saga themes, as the Marvels can set up the idea of incursions and reality destruction on a much grander scale while featuring Zaw Ashton's The Marvels villain as a smaller-scale enemy for the team's debut. The Marvels trailer also reveals that Monica is no longer working for S.W.O.R.D., but instead, Saber, though it's unclear what this organization actually does, though Nick Fury appears to be a high-ranking official on their space station. The first trailer for The Marvels gives audiences their first look at Captain Marvel since Avengers Endgame and Miss Marvel's post credit scene. It also marks the big-screen debuts of Villani and Paris as Kamala and Monica, showing off their new powers from Miss Marvel and WandaVision, respectively. Even Goose the Flurkin is back from Captain Marvel, and the Kree takes center stage once again as the villains for the upcoming film. Watch the trailer below. The Marvels is set to have a huge impact on the MCU. Kamala Khan was revealed as the MCU's first mutant in Miss Marvel, so this will surely get developed further in the upcoming film and the new trio of heroes can help to expand on the MCU's cosmic side, 
particularly since May 2023's Guardians of the Galaxy Vol. 3 is the final adventure for that spacefaring team. The Marvels will release on November 10th, 2023, but the conversation surrounding the Captain Marvel sequel is only just beginning. Oh my god! I can't. Can you... I got it. 